So I'm Jamie Harper. Um, my background is in theatre, so I spent sort of 10 years as a theatre director uh, and then about five years ago sort of by accident started to make types of interactive drama um, and I felt like some interesting things were happening with that where people were given the chance to participate in some ways but I didn't feel like I was doing it particularly well um, and I was looking around at what other people were doing and I was thinking well this is interesting but I don't know whether we're doing it with as much method as we could. So uh, I applied for a thing called a Winston Churchill Trust Travelling Fellowship uh, to go and study game design at University of Miami. Uh, so I went and kind of learned about game design. Now you might think, how do you move to games from drama? So my thing is that I think games and drama are quite similar. They both involve players or characters in sort of physical or virtual context trying to achieve objectives and overcome obstacles so there's a lot of similarities uh, if you care about participation in any kind of art form there's something to learn from games because games are built upon the participation of players so that brought me to game design and then from that I then went to a, a brilliant place called the LARP Rider Summer School which happens in Lithuania each summer so that was in 2015 and uh, that was sort of my introduction to live action role play or LARP as it's called a LARP is an opportunity for a group of participants to play out uh, roles within some type of fictional context. Um, so typically there is no spectatorship. It's, it, it often is drama, but it's not observed by an audience in the form of conventional drama where there's an audience that, that watches what happens. The rewards and the experience is intrinsic to the play itself. There's no extrinsic reward or extrinsic observer. Um, it's very much co-created often uh, in the Nordic LARP tradition. So the players will often have a, have a role in kind of creating their own characters and certainly in kind of generating the narrative that emerges. So there's a big emphasis on co-creation and, and essentially giving the agency and the opportunity to the participants to make the thing happen. The space here will be uh, used to play a LARP called Washing Machine. Um, so washing machines are LARP about uh, what people would like their lives to, to have meant by the time they reach the end of their life. Uh, so groups of participants will come in, create uh, some fictional characters, create a world for themselves and each other, uh, and they'll literally play their way through uh, a life story. Uh, the action kind of contains a, a mixture of improvised scenes and physical tasks, movement uh, sequences, um, but in a way it's, it, hopefully it ought to feel kind of like child's play, like the kind of mucking around and messing around you do when you're uh, a kid and you make dens and you make playhouses. That's really kind of at the core of what it is. And in time, moving through the third and final major event of your life. So if people are interested in taking part, um, you uh, can sign up. Uh, you can contact me personally. My email is jamie at hobotheatre.co.uk. Um, I should have a sign that says what that email address is. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically, uh, it, the LARP's happening on five dates between the 8th and the 12th of February. Um, so uh, you can sign up. It takes between 1 and 5 p.m. So you do need to devote uh, an afternoon of your life to come and play this thing, but hopefully that will be time well spent.